Welcome back to the channel. And first off, I want to start. Uh, just want to say congratulations, to my boy, the cop cop, on his new addition to the family. Even though I'm a couple weeks late, you know, doing it. Uh, daughter about two, three weeks old. Just want to congratulate him. Welcome to fatherhood again. Out a new addition to the family. Got a brand new baby girl. Uh, she gonna be testing your stripes when she get older, bro. My daughter do the same thing. Uh, so yeah. Now, everything going right with the fig. Everything is going right. Check engine light still on. I just haven't had time to plug it up. Uh, I forgot to plug it up last yesterday when I was at the shop dealing with my wife's car with with the OG. Um, the part got put in, but it's not where it said it should have been there. He had took the starter down. It wasn't behind the starter for a 3.3. It was on the side of the transmission. Uh, and we were definitely hoping it wasn't behind the timing chain. If it was behind the timing chain, the car would have been history. The car would have been dust. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, you know, they're going to look at it further today. Got the part in, it still wouldn't fire up. For some reason, it's not getting fired. The fuel pump working, everything else working. It might be a defective part. So what's going to happen today is, when I drop one, they're going to get back on it. And then they're going to take the part out. And after I drop my wife, well, after I drop my mom's at the doctor first so she can have her ankle, you know, have a primary doctor look at her leg and her ankle and stuff like that because she heard it the other day. Uh, when I drop her off and drop my wife off at work, I'm going to go to the shop. We gonna, uh, I'm going to take the part back, get the money back, uh, and then go to um, car Hyundai, which I'm going to call Hyundai where I get home and see how much that part is and then take it back and get it put on because OG said how sometimes uh, how auto parts though that's a aftermarket part sometimes parts like that aftermarket parts won't work you might need to go to the dealer and get the original part which I also found out parts at the dealer is not really much more expensive than parts at the parts stores it's the labor that'll get you you know, when I got the trans, I mean, not the trans, when I got the, uh, the, um, what you call it, the cable shifter, for the, when I got the cable shifter for the Vic, uh, the part, the part wasn't, you know, the part was 60 something dollars. He told me 80 something dollars on the phone, but when I got there, it was 60 something, 60 something dollars, almost 70 bucks. Um, uh, I had called O'Reilly and Autos on. They didn't have a part. Told me I would have to go to the dealer. My well, car formula, formula wanted 95 bucks with taxes. It would have been 102 bucks. So parts at the dealer. I, that's when I found out parts at the dealer don't be all that expensive. It be the motherfucking labor that it get you. They get you on that labor. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call Hyundai and uh, I'm gonna call Hyundai and see how much the part is and uh, take that part back to Maverick and get my money and get the money back and then go to Hyundai and get it. So we can get my wife back in her car. So she can start talking about around in this pizza box with a broken window and this and that and you know, like, hey, this piece box is still out run your Hyundai. You get me on the jump. But not on the long stretch. But, uh, that's all for this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Let me get out your way. Damn, it's gonna rain early. They said no rain till Thursday. It's Wednesday, because Chicago PD, the new Chicago PD come on today. Hey, look, another Vic. Oh, this is Cook and Share. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe.